Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday, June 17th. It is just flying by. Like, how fast is this time going? So uh, we've been doing some stuff this week with different strings. We've made, uh, like, done Cat's Cradle. We've done the um, macrame, like, anklets, bracelets. Um, and so today, I wanted to do something with you like this. Uh, if you've seen these before, some of you who are older, we did do this several years ago. Um, these are called God's Eyes. I don't know the um, correct pronunciation, um, but they are from indigenous people in Mexico, I believe, started making them. Uh, there's various, uh, how would you say, explanations or or origins of what they mean. Some people say like when a baby is born, the father does the center for the eye. And then every year as a child gets older, they make another one. Um, they are also to represent, um, the, the points are to represent like different um, directions, different spiritual meanings. And so there's different, like all kinds of things that you can uh, get out of these God's eyes, but I think they're just really cool. Uh, and I didn't mind in these colors. Now I'm going to explain why I did them in these colors because these, of course, National Indigenous Peoples Week is or day is coming up on Sunday, and so I wanted to do a little bit uh, with that. Yes, this is uh, Indigenous to Mexico, but um, it, it, I'm representing it our Indigenous people with the colors. Now, the reason why I picked the white, yellow, red, blue is if I share this with you. Oh no! Don't do that. That's ending it. Stop. Uh, present. Let's go here. Let's go share. You are sharing, presenting your screen. All right. Um, so in, where do I want to go? Where to go here? About medicine wheels. Oh, ah! <laughs> I wanted to go about medicine wheels. Um, this came from Mrs. Miss Benning, and she talked about uh, medicine wheels and what they mean. Uh, this is her interpretation. The thing with medicine wheels, and they look something like, Oh, where's this one? I want to show you this. Yeah, this is what uh, the colors I picked from, right? The white and the yellow, the red and the blue um, is typically, this is a medicine wheel that we have up, have up in our school. Um, and it's to represent the, um, it, on here it represents directions, but it also does so much more than that. If we go back here, oh, where do I want to go? Yes, I think I want to go here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, no, not there. <laughs> So the the four colors or the four uh, parts of the medicine wheel are also representing like you as you're growing, right? Like so infant, uh, youth, elder, adult, elder, the seasons, right? So spring, summer, fall, winter, different animals. Like uh, if you've been watching my indigenous videos, uh, but the seven grandfather teachings, um, it represents that. Uh, there's different elements, right? Like water, fire, wind, and earth. So no, this, it's like, um, but whatever the medicine wheel means to certain people varies from person to person, to nation to nation, to culture to culture. So it's very varied, very varied. Is that a word? Is that a, is that a phrase? A lot of people interpret it differently. So I'm just telling you what Miss Benning shared with me and what I'm now sharing with you. So I, and you'll also see these um, medicine wheel, you will see them uh with black black sometimes changes the place of blue right and it all depends on uh different nations and different uh yeah different places so we do ours in blue so that's what we're going to do today so we're making something that looks like this the god's eye so let's get back let's stop presenting we're gonna make these okay so i use popsicle sticks of course i wasn't organized to go to the my creek or my my trees and cut a couple branches if i would have i would have done that i was not thinking what i was doing this morning surprise uh so i just have popsicle sticks and i just glue them with a hot glue gun if you happen to go into the um into you know, like getting a stick uh try and pick a tree you know that has lots of branches that are healthy on it so it won't be missed uh clip the branches cleanly as you can and it, i would suggest just saying a thank you to uh mother earth for providing you with those sticks just a little uh, gratitude, a little bit of, you know, just to say thanks. So 
I don't have those, but I do have popsicle sticks. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to make these. You may have made these in the past, so you already know what to do. Um, but let me show you. So let's tip the camera down. Here we go. Woo! All right, there we go. I think that might stay. So I have my stick, and I'm going to start with, we're doing our God's Eye in white, because that's to represent the north. I like to start on the north. Um, because if I can face north, then I kind of know where I'm going. Maybe I should face north more often. <laughs> so if we're going to take our piece of string, and I just cut some yarn, and I'm just going to hold it on the back. I'm just going to wrap it a couple times in the center going one way, and then I'm just going to move it, and I'm going to wrap it a couple times in the center going this way. You just want it to have the, the center covered up. Now, this is where... Oh, started with white. Are you going to be able to see that? White on kind of light white. It doesn't matter how you do it because there will be like a, there will be a front and a back. Um, and we, you could say, well, maybe I want this for the front and this for the back. So it's totally up to you which way. I wanted this part to go to the back. So all my ends that I tied kind of, I tried to stick onto the back. So doesn't really matter but what you're going to do is you have to keep going the same way every time so i'm going to go to my first um my first one and i'm going to go around so i wrapped it around by going um to the top of it and then i'm going to give it a quarter twist and i'm going to go around and give it a quarter twist go around give it a quarter twist go around give it a quarter twist and i just keep doing that and i just keep like one going around and then twist it one going around twist it one going around and twist it. and then I'll show you what starts to look like on the other side but let me just get these going one go around one go around like and then twist go around once twist go around once twist go around once twist and this is comfortable for me but maybe you have a different way of doing it and of course I'm left-handed so it'll be going the opposite way when you're doing it right so I'm just keep going wrapping around until I've run out of string or out of yarn right like that and then i'm going to stop uh because i have a little bit left so uh on this one i went with uh north east would be yellow so i went to yellow so all i'm going to do is i'm going to add this string to here now i could try and like cross them over and try and tie them together which you can do but let me show you a simple way so i'm just going to put both colors together right i don't know if you can see that putting both those colors together and i'm just going to wrap it around my finger and then i'm just going to tuck those two ends that i have right pull my finger out and then wrap those two ends into that hole that's just a simple way to make a knot out of two pieces that are dangling in the air. It just seems simpler to me. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. So I wrap it around and twist, wrap around and twist, wrap around and twist. Now you're gonna see that that knot, I want that knot to be on the back. I consider this the back, I think that's the front. So I want that knot to kind of be on the back. So I'm, I'm glad it stayed there, so wrapping around and I just keep doing that over and over and over and eventually like these this knot it will I can like trim it up once I'm done but I just keep going the same thing I was doing all the way along right keep going I'm just trying not to get those little end guys I'm trying not to go over them because I'm just going to trim them after right and then I'll show you what it starts to look like on the front once I get this other color, so I'm going to do my yellow. And I could even do like another yellow, but for me, I think that's enough. So I'm going to add my red. So again, I'm going to take my two ends, wrap it around my finger. Right? And then I'm just going to take those two little ends and tuck them back into that hole where my finger was. <laughs> Except it didn't go up very well. It was kind of like not coming up very good. There we go. Right, and I'll trim those. I'll even do a little trim now because that's a really long one. And I'm just going to keep going. Woo! Oh, I got all that string. All right. Now, look at this one. So this one, I, um, it's going to start kind of in the middle. And that's okay. As long as that knot is to the back, it's okay. So I'm just going to keep going. 
it's and i like i picked the colors for the medicine wheel you can pick any colors you want like i just wanted to kind of tie it into indigenous people's day so i went with medicine wheel colors but you could go with any color you want you could go there's that kind of a yarn that's called variegated yarn and it um has all the colors on it and so you just keep going and it would just make your own color so that would be cool too right totally up to you so i'm just gonna add my last color which is blue starting to come look at that look at how it's starting to look nice and i'm gonna add this one so again i'm gonna tie them wrap it around my finger although i got really big fingers so sometimes it's kind of hard i'm gonna tuck it in all those strings okay keep going so i'm wrapping it around and going wrapping around and going and yeah i went like I'm going to make sure that that little knot, I'm going to make sure it's not pointed to the front, but I'm just going to make sure it's tucked into the back, right? So, yeah. So, um, more stuff with string. I didn't realize I was going to do so much with string today, but I did. <laughs> um, and then my last video for you guys is going to be on Friday because you guys have to bring your chromes in and i got to get stuff done cleaning up the art room you guys have been noticing how i haven't really been cleaning up so i've got to get that cleaned up so i've got two more videos to make and then i will do a couple in the summer and then i will see you guys next fall i'm so excited to see you awesome okay now i'm going to show you how i'm going to end i think i'm actually going to end on this one so to end right like I've, I've got enough that's as that's as much as i want to do there's different ways to end it. Uh, the way I've been taught is um, I'm left-handed, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a loop on this left-hand side, and I'm going to come around, and I'm going to just tuck that that uh, string into that loop. So it's just kind of like, um, kind of make almost like a slip knot, or I don't know. Like I'm just trying to tuck it into, I think I'm going to go this way, right? Just to get it kind of tied on. I'm going to do one more. Oh, that was not a great one. Let's do one more. Come on underneath. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim that. Trim these guys a little bit closer. So not poking out so much. And then I can just add a string on the top. And I could hang that up and put it on my wall. I could put it in my window. It could be by your window and just moving in the breeze. So it's just, yeah, something neat. So. Boop. Oh, yikes. <laughs> okay. I have to duck because I didn't put it up high enough. So that's what we're, we did today. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Show me any pictures. I'd love to see if you guys worked on some God's Eyes today. Um, let me show you the one picture. That I was kind of went from uh, is right here. Right, like look at these. Look at all the different colors. This is what I meant by the the ones with the yarn with the color already in them, because then they kind of do their own thing. You don't even have to switch the yarn, right? Um, they just go. So totally up to you. They use the sticks again. Oh, let me just go back. If you're using the sticks. If you're using the sticks um, and you don't have hot glue, that's okay. I would like, let's say these are the sticks. Hold on. I need more string. I wasn't prepared for this part. Uh, just get some yellow. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. See the room? I definitely have to do some cleaning. So two more days of videos and then I got to put stuff away. I'm going to be in big trouble. Okay. So let's say these are your two um, sticks. So again, same thing, even if they're not glued, you're just gonna kinda have to try and hold them and wrap your string around tight. These are not good examples because they're really slippery. Right? <laughs> hold on, let's move that up. I if you went this way. Right? So, even if you don't have glue, hot glue, you don't need it, right? If you go around your your sticks 
or you, you don't need to have it hug loose. It will work, right? You just got to be wrap it tight and go both ways. So make like make a cross. So go this way and go this way. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so grateful for you guys. Two more days. Uh, take care. Get some sun. Wear some sunscreen. Protective personal protective equipment, whatever you need. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay.